Hold on, I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is it official? I'm pretty sure this is uh, 96.7 KKLFM. Okay, good. Yeah. good. Yeah, it's can, at Rock Station. I can tell by the level of rock that's yeah. taking place that, yeah, it generally pretty much is. Uh, there you go. Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me and your bush. Banging bush. And 12 minutes after 7 o'clock in the morning. Ain't America great? Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm telling you. <laughs> Come down. Cheer to my eye. <laughs> 13 minutes after 7. Gods is me. Jimbo's here. Melissa's here. And our in-studio guest, Frank Conniff. Hi, Frank. Hi. Hi. Can we still call you TV's Frank? Is you it? sure can. All right. no, you can call me Radio's Frank. Oh, it is Radio's right. Frank. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that. was a very enjoyable Def Leppard <laughs> song. And now I'm going to worship the devil and kill my parents. Oh, cool. All right. I was going to do that too, man. <laughs> We'll get together. We'll do it together. It'll be fun. Next remote. Yeah. You might remember Frank from uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. You were on that for, for years and years and years Five and years. years. Wow. That's cool. And it uh, still runs uh, like every night at midnight on uh, if you're on one of the two cable systems in the world that has co the Comedy Channel, the Comedy Central. <laughs> we're working right. on it. Yeah. The shirt that you're wearing, as a matter of Whoa! Yeah, there we go. The Kissing same, up to the guests. That's the it. same shirt he was wearing last night. That's I'm true. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of roll out of bed this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have a lot to choose for him in the wardrobe department here. I'm glad I didn't see Frank last night because I was wearing this, too. <laughs> yeah, were you? No. You weren't. It's a, a, not a big wardrobe town. I yeah. <laughs> said, well, the Empire, we're pretty casual out here, we you know. We have one per season. So we got two, two outfits. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we're wearing white after Labor Day or however that works. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, all right, let's check news and information, more or less what is Police. going on. It is brought to us in part by San Manuel Indian Bingo. Casino and sports. You can uh, play the sports watch football contest where you can win up to $2,500. Wow. San Manuel, 1 800 359 2464. For more information, call them up and say, hey, just send the money over. Probably won't go. I just got this in. I don't know, Melissa, I don't know if you got this on the AP. It, Hit it. Whitney Houston loves her sexy baby. Bobby Brown, and then some. Okay. No, I couldn't know. Oh, forget she, it. All the other news. Now. She, that's right. She die for him? <laughs> that's it. Sexy baby. We don't man. need to know anything Powder else. Powder and everything. No, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Melise, go ahead. That's quite right, right. Jimbo. Thanks for bringing us up to date on Whitney, but we have some other news that we have achieved shutdown. And when <laughs> Bobby Brown will start a <laughs> song about this. <laughs> Non-essential elements of the U.S. government shut down today. All the senators and congressmen, in other words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, don't we wish? <laughs> After spending authority for those services lapsed, up to 800,000 federal workers nationwide now face layoffs that the White House and Congress failed to resolve their budget differences. So, like, the, the, fed, the guys in charge of sitting on their ass? They're still getting paid. They're still getting paid. They're still getting paid. <laughs> the hard... Working people out there, though, they're so going to get laid off. You mean there's going to be 800,000 government employees are going to be hooked on soap operas That's now. it. <laughs> <laughs> and just no keep, them, them, back. keep them checks coming, though. Mm. <laughs> so if you need a passport, apparently you're out of luck. That's you, it. You can't leave the country. You, you can't get, leave. You get so fed up with the country. That's it, I'm leaving. Sorry. No you bad. Can't do it. You got to stay. You're screwed. <laughs> President Clinton condemned as an outrage an explosion in Saudi Arabia that killed six people, including five Americans. Yesterday's blast also injured more than 30 Americans when it ripped into a Saudi National Guard training facility in Riyadh. That was being used uh, as a U U.S. military installation area. I still don't understand. Do they go out of their way to ask what the president thought? You know, a bunch well, of U.S. they have to have some kind of posturing <laughs> for that to uh, send out a message. That's probably where Boutros was. Isn't it kind of obvious, though? I wonder if he birthday. turned to his publicist. What do I say? What do I say, is this good? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, uh, bad. bad. Ooh, bad. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty colors when it blowed up, though. I believe I'm outraged. <laughs> uh, I feel well, your pain. We're going to have to check with uh, Clinton to see how he feels that Jimbo was arrested yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Glenn Rogers oh, no, was arrested on, no. yesterday in central Kentucky after a high-speed police chase. Rogers was wanted in connection with murders in five states, and an anonymous tip led police to Rogers' capture, who, when asked by reporters if he was a killer, said... No. No. Ooh. We'll let him go. He threw us all there. <laughs> now I don't know. I don't know what to think now. Is Johnny Cochran on the scene? He <laughs> he's, yeah, he's like he was he's pulling on his him. Way. He was right behind the guy. He, oh, he's getting pulled over. I'm there. Put this knit cap on. They'll never recognize we you. We had another high-speed chase. <laughs> a 15-year-old boy driving a stolen car eluded police in a chase that reached speeds of 70 miles an hour, wow. but lost his cool when he spotted his grandmother driving towards ah. him. So at this point, he ducked down so she wouldn't see him, what hit happened? the gas, lost control, struck one car, crossed the center divider, and <laughs> struck another car. Guess who's? He hit grandma? He hit oh, grandma. Oh, no! Yes! <laughs> and you know, the, the ironic thing is she broke every bone except her hip. <laughs> 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 
She's going to be okay. <laughs> well, this also gives a whole new spin to that horrible Christmas song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Rainbow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she got run over by a grandson. Fabulous <laughs> composition. Well, thanks for bringing us up to speed, Melise. My pleasure. And Frank, thanks for coming in, man. So the limo was okay? Oh, the limo was wonderful. That's it's my car. Not, <laughs> bigger than my apartment, so I'm just going to move into it if it's all right. That'll be uh, the uh, Jaguar limousines of the Inland Empire. If you ever need to really, like, impress anybody, that's call them up. Show off. Act like you have money. You didn't have to drive or anything, did you? No. No. Thank pitch in for gas? Yeah. He made me pitch, and he made me buy him, you know, <laughs> lunch at the truck stop. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that was part of the deal. Oh. But, uh, I told you to tell him. Know. That's his fault. He's a lonely, lonely man. I, <laughs> what can I tell you? Here's well, a beef jerky and a Dr. Pepper. There you go. You're set. <laughs> in studio guest today, uh, uh, Frank Conniff, from TV's Frank, from uh, formerly of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Now, you left the show when? Uh, last December. And uh, why? What's the deal? Um, well, I came out uh, to California to uh, broaden my horizons and right. to uh, further my career. And now look where I am. <laughs> You're here. Uh, oh, I'm God. here. So. You sorry. made it, man. <laughs> Pay dirt. Yes. Yeah. So sorry. This was my dream to come here. And, uh, <laughs> now you can retire. Now, now it's all over for me. I've, I've reached the pinnacle of show business. And, uh, once you've done this, it's this and Carson. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like yeah. Tiffany, she played the mall. Where do you go from there? <laughs> you know? Absolutely. It can, only, it can only go up from here. So you're working on some stuff. Are you involved with the, Dis the yeah, actual the, the mouse? Yeah, I'm working with the uh, Walt Disney Corporation. Yeah. Um, they got a little cash. Yeah, yeah they we're uh, writing. Uh, they're doing new fractured fairy tales. Oh, no way. And uh, way. way. And, <laughs> no way. Uh, they can't do new ones. <laughs> um, and I just wrote a comedy version of The Three Little Pigs. And... Uh, the next one I'm writing is uh, Hansel and Gretel. Wow. Now, I don't know if you remember the story of Hansel and Gretel. It's about uh, two little kids who were abandoned by their parents. Right. Left out in the middle of the woods. Right. It happened right here, actually, in the Inland right. Empire. They practically starved to death, and then they meet a witch who tries to eat them. Right. Now, Disney wants me to give it an edge. <laughs> so, I mean... You bust that, that up a little bit. That cute little tale. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just it's next. Just, he's gonna do the Holocaust, probably. Oh yeah, uh, I'm, uh, now my Anne new Frank, purpose maybe. in life is I'm gonna traumatize children all over the country. It's good. The I'm not going near the microwave, Mom. <laughs> it's an admirable pursuit. <laughs> Check in with Leah. How you doing, Leah? I'm fine, thank you. You got your uh, your uh, gastrointestinal problems under control? Uh, yes. Okay, good deal. Good, good, good to know. Thanks for asking. Yeah, thanks for sharing. That's, hey, I'll I'm... get you a shoehorn for that, definitely. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks a lot. See you. Just no, I'm still thrilled. Just the chance to hear somebody say, ball breaker. <laughs> ball breaker? Ow. You say Frank? Come on, Frank. Uh, ball break. There, there you go. go. <laughs> but when I do it, it's a ballad. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's Frank, Frank unplugged. unplugged. Yes. Right. Doing the acoustic set here. <laughs> Frank Conniff is our guest in the studio today, Frank otherwise known ball as... Ball breaker Conniff. <laughs> is that it? Cool, man. Yeah. Hey, are you doing some stand-up stuff from uh, time to time in the L.A. area? Yes, I uh, work uh, the various... I'm very big on the uh, coffee house bookstore scene oh, cool. in L.A. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Right, exactly. Right. It's very hip, and uh, the great thing is, is it does nothing to pay my rent. So. <laughs> All right, yeah, right. So it's I completely enjoy. artistic expression, is what Absolutely. you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. It's an outlet for Frank. It's an outlet for my anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, hey, we appreciate you coming in. We'll hang out some more hey, with. This uh, is great. You guys have great crack, man. This is <laughs> That's why we get all our guests up here. It's a, the free limo and the crack. <laughs> Pull your pants up, Jimmy. Sorry about Jeez, that. man. 7.28 in the morning. <laughs> Better than Ezra's on 96.7 KKLFM. Rat! Where? 96.7 KKLFM. Oh. That's where. 96.7 KKLFM. Rocking the Empire. With the rat. Are we getting our picture taken? Oh, wait, All right, okay. Everybody smile. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Smile. Okay. Smile. Ah, okay. There we go. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> our souls have been stolen. Oh, yeah, man. Again. Third time this week. Mm -hmm. 737, the Big Dumb Show is on. Gonzo Greg is me. Jimbo's here. Melissa's here. And our Good guest, morning. Frank Conniff, TV's Frank, formerly of Mystery Science Theater 3000, now doing some new stuff from New Fractured Fairy Tales coming out with Disney. With Disney, that's right. And now that's going to be a video thing? Is that what that that's is? That's direct to home video. All right. All right. Just it's, in time. It'll be the only direct to home video released next year that doesn't have Andrew Stevens in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's not like silk stockings or nothing, right? He must be really upset. <laughs>
<laughs> so one of those they're coming out. Uh, I believe in the fall. Really? Hopefully. I mean, they've got to animate them and everything. So Jeez, how much time they need? <laughs> Draw they, a couple you know, pictures, you know? Spend a little more time than the uh, traditional Hanna Barbera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with George Jetson. I mean, come on, you know. That was a cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> that they filmed it. Yeah, no, no, it was real. He, he thought it was Star okay. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> filmed entirely on location. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you spent uh, forever and a day working in uh, in Minnesota. with I the. Was, uh, yeah, I was there for nine years and on uh, Mystery Science for five of those right. years. And so th- that was a good time for you? Oh, it was a great time. Now, for people who haven't seen that show, I guess the premise, do you want to do the setup for the premise of yeah, what that's all about? The premise is, is uh, I played a, a, a mad scientist and my boss... Dr. Forrester and I uh, sent uh, Joel and then Mike and there's two robot buddies, Crow and Tom Servo and also Gypsy into space and they were forced to watch really bad movies. Right. Really bad, like, <laughs> bad movies. Like Manos, The Hands of Fate. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I won a few awards, didn't and, it? Yeah, and Waterworld. No, we <laughs> uh, wanted to do Waterworld. Uh, <laughs> waiting on that one. And uh, and they were forced to watch. And so to keep their sanity while they watched them, they uh, made a lot of quips, right. as people tend to do when they watch those, you know, types right. of movies. And, uh, I was I was actually in charge of uh, finding the movies, and uh, so I have permanent brain damage. Man, so that was <laughs> I was going to ask you know, how can't. do you, how do you come by how do you find a film as bad as Manos: The Hands of Fate? It involves going through dumpsters. Man, that was not. I have uh, seen that particular task. episode. It is. I mean, it is the worst. It is. It is so bad. Right. It, it, it sets a new standard for bad <laughs> yes. people who thought Plan Nine from Outer Space was bad. <laughs> right. They saw this. Right. They said, "Hey, they should have given that one an Academy <laughs> that Award." That was an Oscar winner by comparison. <laughs> yeah. So now, is there some sort of guide? How do you how do you weld your, wend your way through that jungle of really bad um, cinema? I mean, well, you just watch it, and <clears throat> after you stop crying, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when you come out, if you can come out of the stupor somehow, you know, then you can manage to say, "Hey, maybe we." should do this film and, right uh, was know. there ever a movie so bad you wouldn't oh, even touch it oh lots of movies really so bad. <laughs> even too yeah. bad for 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 oh, mystery yeah, science absolutely really. most of the ones that i saw were too bad wow I mean, there's an endless <laughs> supply and we're very near los angeles as we speak <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of really bad films are being made they're churning out even more too bad for mystery science theater. <laughs> well, now, you guys it's a constant would, supply you guys would spend an, an entire mm. week Writing mm. the jokes right. and the cracks that uh, so Joel we would or Mike see, and the bots um, would make. We would see each movie, uh, you know, about uh, between a half dozen and a dozen times. Oh, you poor uh, people. I know, which is depressing. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Citizen Kane three times, but I've seen... Uh, Monster Ago go 12 times. <laughs> yeah. That kind of screwed me up in the head. <laughs> Get your you priorities know. straight. Yeah, it's all uh, backwards. So, cool. Uh, <laughs> Man. <laughs> Frank Conniff is our guest, otherwise known as TV's Frank, formerly with uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Well, I can kind of understand now why you've moved on. I, I, uh, after a, a certain number of years of that, I suppose it probably begins yeah, to grate a little bit. I wanted to, you know, uh, <laughs> kind of clear my head up a little bit. You know, I felt like I was walking around in a B-movie constantly. You know? <laughs> so my life was in black and white, grainy black and white right. at all times. And, the sets well, Minnesota winners. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Six and one, half dozen the other. Which you guys are veterans of, that's also. Right. Oh, yeah, we did some time up there. We so, escaped, though. We did. Made it here to the Empire. Called it yesterday. Yeah. What was it? Four? Between four and Four and, and six degrees, something like that. And I think you told me last night you sent a message to Minnesota that went something along the lines of, yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty much it. By the way. It's 80 degrees here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's still a get, quote. Get your good deal on a snowmobile suit, too, if you want. If you want to pick that up. We'll uh, hang out some more with TV's Frank here. Keep it locked on. The Big Dumb Show is on Kate Caliph. Hey, what? Good guys. Uh, grand opening celebration is happening Saturday from 3 to 5. The good guys in Riverside, 3590 Tyler Street. You know who's going to be there? Um, you. No. Okay. MJ, actually. Yeah. MJ's... Yeah, bastard. I was going to... No, MJ? <laughs> MJ's going to be there. Oh, he's a good guy. He's going to try and scam a free stereo, no doubt. Get a new... Now, there's a super nice song. There's, there's some nice boys. Oh, there's some oh, nice guys. They do a good job. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rockers of Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's it. They're from Minnesota, aren't they? <laughs> they were called the Red Hot Buddha Fish. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> Go up do some ice fishing with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They changed their name. Oh. Minnesota. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> Want some pike on a stick? 
<laughs> I swear to God. Leah, you ever been to Minnesota? Uh, no. Don't go there. One planet on it. <laughs> yeah, right. oh. Isn't it like four degrees there or yeah, something? Yeah, about four. Leah, while we were there, there's a true culinary delight. Yeah. Pike on a stick. There's a treat. Yeah. Frank, you ever have the pike on a stick? I just had the stick, actually. <laughs> yeah. that that More better. flavor. Better yeah. than the pike. Yeah. A little bit safer. Ooh. Our guest in studio today is Frank Conniff, uh, TV's Frank, formerly from Mystery Science Theater 3000. He's got a bunch of stuff going on. We'll talk about your new book and stuff here in a bit. Wow. Yeah. I can write, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I use a crayon. You did, the, <laughs> you did the phonics thing, though, right? Yeah. It worked out for you? Yeah. Pop-up book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Those, slide. Those are my favorite. It's got the 3D. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I was thinking it was more like, where's Waldo, except it's where's Frank. Where's Frank? That's right. <laughs> I try to find it every day when I write it. <laughs> and someone suggested maybe I should read a book first, but no, I'll just... Nah. You don't want to copy. <laughs> you don't want to rip off anybody's idea. <laughs> All right, let's check the traffic. Lee Landry's here. It's brought to us in part by uh, Phil's House of Toast. Ooh. So mm, if you yum, like yum. maybe some uh, bacon and eggs, big oh, some yeah, crispy Ooh, yeah, bacon. Yeah, scrambled. Oh, no, forget mm. about it. Oh, gosh. Some waffles, something like that. Oh, Belgian oh, with some, some strawberry, a little whipped cream. Oh, oh, House of Toast with the new What are you going to have, Elise? Uh, I think I'll have the toast. Having the toast? Frank, toast? Uh, yeah, plain. Yeah, okay. okay. The all-you-can-eat toast buffet. Plain toast all around. I'm now in. Now with rye. Whoa. Hey, Leah. Hey, what? What the hell is the traffic doing? Well, in Pomona, Corona Expressway, south of Riverside Drive, we still have that head-on injury collision trying to clear out of traffic lanes, but it's pretty tough through that area. Chino in trouble now. Archibald Avenue northbound south of uh, Cloverdale. Crash involving a bobtail truck blocking the roadway. There's also f- heavy fog in this area, so make sure you keep your speeds down. That was Leah was driving through. and <laughs> was, was not. Had a little expulsion there. <laughs> hey, that would have gotten rid of the fog. Caused okay? the fog. Set out her airbags. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. All the songs coming this up. <laughs> can, can I carry on now? Yes, proceed. Just don't listen to us. We're in Ontario, Pomona Freeway, Westbound Pass Grove Avenue, we have a crash. This one involves a big rig in a car, and it's along the right shoulder. This traffic report is a service of the new 91 Express Lanes. Ten miles of nonstop toll road along the 91 freeway between the 55 and the Riverside County line. Call 1-800-600-9191. 1-800-600-9191. I'm Leah Landry on the Inland Empire's Best Rock 96.7 KCAL FM. Some people are good. All right, our guest in studio today, Frank Conniff, TV's Frank, formerly of Mystery Science Theater 3000. And... Uh, of course, we need to mention how you got here again. You got that uh, Jaguar limousine of the Inland Empire. Oh. Nice oh, ride, way, huh? Uh, I, I want to meet Lo Melinda. Is that possible? She's hot. <laughs> she sounds very sexy. Oh, yeah. She's, she's a looker. <laughs> let me tell you. I want to find out how she got that name. Lo yeah. Melinda. yeah. She parties. But, uh, she parties hard. <laughs> well, don't you know her sister, Yorba? Yeah. Yorba. Yeah. Yorba and Loma. Mm. And get those two together in the same room. Double yeah. twins. Yeah. All right, we'll talk some more with TV's Frank here coming up. Keep it locked on, and uh, if you ever need a ride anywhere, Jaguar limousines. That's the way to go. Hey, they're you, the best. Best limo I've ever been in. Can you wow. tell me? Kind of got a case, kind of a scam going here? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh-huh. Okay, you guys in the back, stop snickering. That's, <laughs> that's okay. Some Aerosmith back there, too. Frank, it wasn't me. All right. Uh, I was getting my keys, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 11 minutes after 8 o'clock. Gonzo's me, Jimbo's here, Melissa's is here, and our guest in studio... Frank Conniff, otherwise known as TV's Frank, formerly of the hit television show, Mystery Science, Science Theater, Theater 3000. Yeah. And they're just going into, uh, what, what season are they starting now without you? Uh, season 7. The uh, bastards. What was yeah. the groupie scene like for that? <laughs> oh, the groupie scene was really incredible. Yeah, uh, the, the, I can imagine. It, it was just... Um, Unlimited because it was all in my head, and you know, <laughs> so there was no limits on what what could happen. <laughs> so after uh, how many uh, you know x number of years of of dealing with bad cinema mm. all that time, I'm I'm kind of curious. There's a lot of bad television on. I think television oh, is yeah. much more prone to spewing out bad stuff. Mm. You know, I'm I was always a big fan of Heart to Heart because you know Mrs. 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 H. Yeah, you're a big Lionel Stander fan. Yeah, oh yeah. She's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> They're a hobby. Murder. <laughs> My boss, Mr. Hart. <laughs> give, me, give me a freeway. <laughs> Get off yes. my leg. I don't know. Any suggest- Welcome to the Max Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Worst show? What's uh or you know best in its badness? I guess is what we're going for here. Uh, oh, I don't know. There's so many to choose from. Yeah. Uh, you know, do you remember Occasional Wife? 
<laughs> no, oh, man. I missed that, that one. That was an incredibly bad show. That was on for about a couple of days, uh, I guess. Yeah. Well, Full House, but that's just evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's the boss? Right. And, uh, yeah. There's sitcoms. You know. it was, what was that show? It was called Quark. And it was about... Well, with Richard uh, Benjamin, Richard right? Benjamin. That was a Buck yeah. Henry creator. They're right, yeah. They're flashing back, a, Jim. Yep, he was an outer space garbage collector. Right. That was his gig. He went around collecting garbage <laughs> in space. Was. Yeah, that was on a for good about premise. A, I don't know what happened there. I don't know where that one went wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Lasted for a single season. And, uh, as well, most of this year's crop. Yeah, right. yeah as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I understand you got a book coming out, too? Yes, I've actually I've written a book, and uh, I started out to write a book about my uh, childhood mm-hmm. and but then to make it not so depressing <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of uh, filtered it through all the television shows that I grew up watching oh, okay and the book is called TV recovery and it's kind of, kind of about how I came from a dysfunctional family Yet it's the inspiring story of how that never stopped me from watching F Troop. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. F Troop, right. So it's a very upbeat, inspirational tale. I love the Hakawi. The They're Hakawi, great. yeah. The, the classic It Is Balloon episode. Right. <laughs> Soon to be a hit movie. Right. Yeah. Well, I think we've all learned valuable life lessons from F Troop. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, we can I, all relate. Yeah. You know, when you're in that moral dilemma, you flash back to your basic inner sense of right and wrong. Which you know, and and I, I related to it because uh, it kind of related to my grades at school. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you, go. you know, if the kids today had F Troop, that's right. Uh, that's what's the wrong. The world would be a much better place. We wouldn't have these gang problems. Everything would a be a whole new world. <laughs> True. <laughs> Check news and information. It is brought to us in part by Banner Mattress. And let me tell you, Frank. I use a banner mattress. Do you? Woo-hoo. A little too much, I'm afraid. <laughs> Smart <laughs> ways I can't talk about. Banner mattress. <laughs> maka, maka, you cannot find a better mattress on the <laughs> planet. <laughs> <laughs> banner mattress, a free 30-night home trial. Ooh, Jim. You've got a free next-day delivery. If you're really nice, they can get it to you same day. <laughs> if you're really nice. This guy's rock. 5% lowest price guarantee. Just a few of the reasons to buy your mattress at Banner Mattress. 1-800-974-5440. Malay. As a matter of fact, you could just stand up. Start to lean backwards, uh, and before you hit, they'll be there. With a there'll mattress. be a banner match. They'll have right it there. in your house, right. ready to rock. What is going on? Well, we have achieved shutdown, Gonzo. Non-essential elements of the U.S. government shut down today after the spending authority for those services lapsed. Someone explain to me what part of our government is so damn essential. At least. Time's okay. up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> up to 800,000 federal workers nationwide now face layoffs that the White House and Congress, since they failed to resolve their budget differences, everybody's kind of on hold today. Yeah, good job, guys. We're going to send you right back to Capitol Hill. No problem. We're going to vote you that pay raise. That's uh, that's definitely in there. Is that in the contract with America? Yeah, you got that taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the important stuff. Contract right. with America. Got that done in 10 minutes. No yeah. problem. Budget Science sealed. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> President Clinton condemned as an outrage an explosion in Saudi Arabia that killed six people, including five Americans. Good political move. Yesterday's blast also injured more than 30 Americans when it ripped into a Saudi National Guard training facility in Riyadh that was being used by U.S. military and civilian personnel. Officials in Washington said a bomb in a van. Oh! Is what caused the blast. But the FBI team's heading out there to help them out with the investigation. (laughs) You'd think... (laughs) <laughs> you see a van coming la, 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 with some guy la, 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 driving yes, <laughs> driving along with a towel on his head going, la, 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 and a big sign on the side of the van that says, I've got a bomb in here. Danger, danger. <laughs> Death to America. Yeah. You, you guys haven't right. heard of the tragedy plus time rule, have you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How does that work exactly? <laughs> <laughs> and in other news, Jimbo Glenn Rogers was arrested yesterday Come in on. central Kentucky after a high-speed chase. Rogers was wanted in connection with murders in five states. An anonymous tip led police to Rogers' capture. And when asked by reporters if he was a killer, hmm. Rogers what said, say? yes, no. Oh, oh, he said no. I just see that Kentucky state trooper. So, boy, are you the killer? You look like him. You did it, didn't you? you? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> He thought he was referring to Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I never touched the piano in my life. I am, I'm a killer, not the killer. <laughs> there you go. Hey, OJ, just a helpful hint. Well, it's like Jan Brady in the Brady Bunch. <laughs> You're it's looking semantics. For the real you know, it's all in the words. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> now, we have two related stories that I've, I've kind of got to read together because... Across the globe, two men are doing the same thing, and I really... Is this the... Somebody's got to enlighten me here. Is this the penises around the globe segment of the this program? penises around the globe. Penises around the world. 
A 39-year-old Trenton, New Jersey man cut off his own penis with a nine-inch kitchen knife. He told police that voices commanded him to dismember himself. Mm -hmm. The man and his loose organ were taken to a hospital where doctors attempted to reunite them. The voices were the Vienna Boys Choir. (laughs) (laughs) That's his voice now. Or the Vienna Sausage Sausage Company. Yes, the the patient, Les Johnson. (laughs) <laughs> said to be recovering comfortably. Oh. <laughs> and an Egyptian college student sliced off his penis because Ooh. he was convinced also it was an impure organ that impeded <laughs> religious activity. Well, that's true. The Delhi Akbar al Yomin. Wow. <laughs> they've got a great comic section. <laughs> quoted the unnamed student's mother as saying her son had lately been praying rigorously and repeating unorthodox ideas about the cleanliness of male sex organs. Mm. You know, I don't know if I'm, if, if I'm allowed to tell you this, but Disney is actually developing a new animated character <laughs> called Puby the Severed Penis. No way! And, oh, uh, cool! He just goes, he's a friendly severed penis, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Thing, but people are afraid of him, but he's friendly, and they, they, don't, they don't understand that. Teams up with Pocahontas later, right. <laughs> in a manner of speaking. I yeah. ain't even gone there. Well, I can tell you, I mean, how many times does it happen? You're reading the Koran, and your penis gets in the way of your religious worship. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. You gotta time. fluff that thing out of the way. Luckily, you know? okay. I worship my penis. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> our guest in- most men too. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. And there's our regular segment on the program today. Wieners around the world. <laughs> Late breaking wiener news. <laughs> Keeping you up to speed on everything that's happening in the world of wieners. All right, guest in the studio, Frank Conniff, TV's Frank. Hey, I want to uh, thank you again for coming up today. My hanging pleasure. Out. Now, uh, occasionally you do the, the coffee house kind of thing in the yeah, L.A. area. I work yep. at the... Okay. Uh, Place called LA the Bookstore, mm-hmm. which is in Santa Monica. Deep, and, deep. Uh, blue Daddy Blue. Place called the Onyx, which right. is uh, on the corner of uh, Godforsaken Drive and uh, <laughs> I don't know where else. <laughs> right in that area. Pan Handler Place and uh, <laughs> and various. The stuff is usually listed in the LA Weekly and the uh, so just keep your eyes out Excellent. for it and uh, we'll check for a listing in there and. Hey, we'll see anything. We'll send everybody down, and we'll mention. Uh, they'll mention our name at the and door. And we'll give away free. Oh, wait a minute. It's free anyway. That's so. <laughs> all right. Cool. <laughs> Hell of a thought, though. They'll charge you double. <laughs> hey, Leah. Hi. Uh, you missed the uh, the penises around the world segment of the program. I know you're trying to catch it. Oh man. You missed it. Yeah. Sorry. However, there is good news. You know, because we're getting ready for holiday giving. Okay. It's time to start thinking about that. That's right. And we said, you know, what are we going to get for Leah? And we have a few things on our list for the holidays for you. We got a case of Beano. Of course. Okay. okay. We've also got from a Japanese company a new kind of odor eater underwear. Hey, hey, hey. Contains a substance that stops the growth of certain bacteria. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so there's not any problem there. A built-in filtering system. All right, this exactly. This is going to be tough, though, because Leah doesn't wear underwear. Ooh. You got a point there. Yeah, right, we'll Murder. Have, have to get you that seat cushion. That, that oh, okay. Two trapper. trapper. Okay. And for you, Jim, we're going to get you if from another Japanese company. We've got the uh, pre-odorized underwear. Right on. Contain a synthetic pheromone found in underarm sweat. <laughs> Masked by a musk fragrance. This, apparently, according to the manufacturer, uh, will attract women. And gerbils. <laughs> and gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> so, a win-win situation there. You can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Probably mostly short women, I would think. Oh. 7,000. We got a strange request. What's that? Just got a call from Devil Boy. Yeah. He wanted Frank to do the Nummy Muffin Cocoa Butter song. No. I, I couldn't <laughs> do that. I don't remember. Uh, no. Okay. no acoustic <laughs> unplug jam today, huh? No. I'll just say Nummy Muffin Cocoa Butter. All there right. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> TV's Frank. Frank Conniff is our guest on the program. Can you hang out a little bit more? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Cool. All right, Frank is going to you gonna hang till the bitter end? I, I don't know yet. Too soon to tell. All right, well, All right. I think we should check with our guest. Frank Conniff? I'm fine. You're going to be okay? Okay. All right. I, I need to use the restroom. Do you? <laughs> right now? No. I, okay. Just Try and hold go it right right here. And okay. <laughs> There you go. Please don't mark the studio. There's a, <laughs> so many guests have done that. There's a big gup cult over there. Saw this. Eddie Van Halen marked his That's exactly. territory over there. So. You know, when he's not with Valerie, <laughs> yeah. geez, it just gets a little out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimbo. Yo. You, you, you want to talk some sports? Let us. All right, spinning the couch to bring you the endless variety of sports. NFL Monday Night Action. Whoa, nearly the Steelers stain the Browns as they defeated them 20 to 3. Oh, Rookie court. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that? You know, by halftime, the bar was empty. No. 
Cleveland's like, go, oh, get out of here, Later. go on. Steelers improved to six and four while the Browns fell to four and six. Congratulations to Greg Maddox of Atlanta. The right-hander won his fourth consecutive National League Cy Young Award. You know, next year, Greg, you want to suck a little bit so somebody else can have a chance yeah, at it. Come on. It is a game. You know what? As good as Cy Young was, he never won the Cy Young Award. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> He didn't get a patch or something. They gave him something. This guy's got it four times. <laughs> NHL action. The Kings reigned over the Mighty Ducks as Wayne Gretzky and Tony Granato each had a goal. Go There's Emilio. A <laughs> <laughs> Big fan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, Detroit is in L.A. taking on the Kings, 730 on prime ticket. Also on the NBA, you can catch the Lakers in Sacramento at 7.30 p.m. on KCAL. And congratulations to Fontana High School, ranked number five All right. in USA Today. Did you used to play for them, Frank? I was their mascot. Right oh, on. Really cool. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Sports in a Cup Show. Thank you, Jimbo. More, more important. Go. Fritz Ford, 91 Freeway at the Adams Auto Center Drive Exit in the Riverside Auto Center. Then Big Dumb Show, 96.7 KKLFM, guys, Jim, Melise, and our guest, TV's Frank, Frank Conniff. That's me. woo Glad you're here, man. What do you think of the Empire? The Empire, I've bowed down before it. Pretty rocking, huh? <laughs> I've succumbed to it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Don't fight it. Yeah, you got to go with it, man. Uh, yeah. It's a way of life. It's a way of thinking. I've been goose-stepping ever since I got here. <laughs> they, they do that down the trailer park all the time. It's the kookiest thing. <laughs> uh, all right, we got some cool shows coming up. we got John Hyatt at the Wiltern. That is Thursday night. Now, I tried to give you tickets to that, but you can't go. No. Yeah, all right, fine. That's all right. You want to go to the ACDC show? Because you used to be that you were before Bon Scott. You were, uh, you were the original no, vocalist. I, uh, I can't. Uh, Dr. Quinn is on that now. Oh, so. <laughs> I don't want to miss out. that. Just to see it. <laughs> ACDC is coming January 30th. They're going to be at the Pond in Anaheim. February 1st, they'll be at the fabulous frickin' Forum. Uh, tickets go on sale this Saturday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster locations. However, we've got a double shot weekend happening this weekend here at KKL. And Which that means? would be your opportunity to win tickets absolutely free to see ACDC. So when I hear, like, say, a double shot of Jefferson Starship? That's when you should call. Okay. Right. Good deal. And that's how that works. Tickets to see Throw ACDC. everybody <laughs> <laughs> and a chance to see ACDC both nights, front and center seats. And I just wanted everybody out there to know if they mm-hmm. want to get in touch with Frank, he, yeah. does, touch have a, him. he does have an info club. <laughs> Please touch me. Oh, cool. <laughs> Love me. You got your own Love fan me. club, man? <laughs> <laughs> Frank does have an info club. Right. If you are on the Info Stupid Highway, you okay. can email the, uh, the club's president right. at Frank C-I-C. Those are all letters at the end. So right. it would be Frank C-I-C at A-O-L dot com. Right. Or you can write at P.O. Box 10834, West St. Paul, Minnesota, 55118. Yes, and you bring that to attention of Jane Melander. Cool. M-E-L-A-N-D-E-R. Void were prohibited. <laughs> hey, what's going <laughs> like, on here? Please that, add 6% sales time. Have a rebuttal? What? P.O. Box 18034. 180. Oh. Jimbo, what does that say? One. 108. Okay, what is what is the actual P.O. box? What is it actually? 1 8. Uh, we uh, have conspiracy, moment. Frank. Uh, uh, eight, 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 oh, three, it's kind of wait. She used to be Selena's president <laughs> oh, of the fan club. What is she? Doc, do you have any of those concerns? You don't you don't lay awake at I, night sweating. Stay do. away from the uh, <laughs> super eights. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, by the way, Frank, we're going to be putting you up at this. Actually, she degree. wasn't famous till that happened, so <laughs> maybe I should woman put take her on a page back. from her book. Straight yeah. to the top, man. Right. <laughs> 8.43. Let's play some rock. Goes, which is pretty damn cool. Gons is me. Jimbo's here. Melissa's here. And our guest, Frank Gunn of TV's Frank, formerly of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Now so the- I'm known as TV's Ball Buster. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> TV's Ball Breaker. <laughs> Oh, Buster Frank. So now, at, no, I guess the first project we'll see from you will be the videos from Disney. Is that? Um, uh, yeah, probably. Okay. I guess and there might be stuff before then. You never know. Uh, who knows? Okay. Book of haikus or and something. And you just got done working with NBC. That, that That's was just right. I, I, I wrote a, a special for Elvira, the Mistress of the Night. Oh wow! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, how'd you get that gig? Um, I they <laughs> called me up. You know, they they they. they Requested my service. You got a thing going on with Elvira there. All too happy to <laughs> service her. So. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, I guess we'll just keep checking the LA Weekly for, uh, yeah, for when you turn it up downtown. Uh, and the police blotter. Right, and, uh, good. Uh, <laughs> all right. You know, we get, do we get the fan club thing straight now? Yes, we do. The, okay. If Let's, you're on the information superhighway, right. you can contact the president of Frank's fan club at Frank. 
at the CIC. That's all capital letters. Super 8 Motel. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the domain is at AOL.com. So that would be Frank, CIC, at AOL.com. And if you aren't on the information stupid highway, please feel free to drop her a line. Her name is Jane Melander, and that's P.O. Box 18034. Just put Jane, West St. Paul, mm. Minnesota, 55118. Wait. She'll take good care of you, keep you posted on what, what, what Frank says. What is this to. mail you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> it is letters. Man. We what have is an this abacus too. thing you speak of, you know, of sending. <laughs> Paper across forthwith country <laughs> in envelopes. Men deliver letter. Mm. <laughs> Uh, that's one of those non-essential government services, I think. Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> Not going to see that. All right, we're going to thank uh, Jaguar Limousines of the Inland Empire for getting your ass out here, Frank. I appreciate All right. it. All okay. And the rest of me, too, believe it or not. Really? <laughs> Incredible. But that was the big part, All though. Right. <laughs> that's what they needed all the space in the living <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll uh, bail out of here getting ready for Stu, and the legendary 9 at 9 is mere moments away. It's a theme. Is it a theme? It's Ooh. a theme. Well, how did you find that out? I, I've got my sources. It's coming up. All right, we're going to get the hell out of here. Stu, you about ready for 9 and 9? All right, moments away. Keep it locked on for that. TV Frank. Make the tag. All right, Frank Connor, thanks for coming in. Thank you, and thank you, Ottoman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> we have some parting gifts. The Ottoman Empire. That's right. We got we're a KKL some... shirt for Frank. Oh, cool. All right. And way Jane. To go. There you go, Jane. Oh, All right, and this is appropriate. Oh, we have the Meat Puppets. Oh, and the cool. ACDC bull break a CD for you. All right. See? Hey. There you go. I need Chick this. Magnet, Frank Conniff. <laughs> there. Now with there these go. CDs and this T-shirt. That's right. And we're also going to get you some shoehorns, too. We oh, can't thank right. you for coming out enough, yeah, Frank. Can't Thanks, leave without Frank. The My pleasure. So, most fun. torturous movie of all time when you were working on Mystery Science Theater 3000, besides Manos, Hands of Fate, which, of course... Um, the Castle of Fu Manchu. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. That's a bad one. Yeah. Let's go rent that one. All right. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater tonight uh, in rerun, so you can see uh, Frank... Every night at midnight. Right, midnight on uh, Comedy Central if you're lucky enough to have that on your cable system. So, See you guys tomorrow. Alrighty. All righty. Right, Big guys. dumb show back tomorrow with uh, more John Hyatt tickets to give away. That's right. Stu's up next. KCAL FM, Redlands, Riverside, San Bernardino, Boston. <laughs>